OK, it's the final day of Sandwich Week, and Chef Mark, you think you've got the best sandwich of all sandwiches to make for us? That's right, I've saved the best till last, so this is called an open club sandwich, and this is probably one of the first recipes I ever cooked out of my first cookbook, and probably one of the reasons why I got into being a chef. Right, so look at this beautiful thing. We've got bacon in there, we've got chicken, we've got nice crusty bread. I've put some brie in there as well. We've got a little bit of salad. We're gonna make a vinaigrette as well. And we've got a poached egg to go on top. It is the ultimate brunch and you can make this uh, the next weekend. Right, I'm gonna get uh, cracking on this and show you how to do this beautiful sandwich a bit later. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, you've got a classic sandwich for us to end our sandwich week, which I think would be probably the most ordered room service meal in a hotel. Would that be correct? Most probably, because right. that's, that's like on every menu in every hotel. Yum. Okay, well, how do you explain the sandwich then? Uh, this, this, so if you're really hungry, make the sandwich. This okay, is a great cool. one. This is, um, so this is a little bit different. So this is an open club, so we're just going to build it on one piece of bread and just build it up. So, and then we've got, you know, it's a bit like you were saying before, a BLT, but it's a, a you know, it's a BLT a bit more, on. Yeah, but BLT bit, upsized. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. So we've got the addition of chicken in there, we've got some brie in there, you know, we've got a bit more yeah. of the salad. It's going to be great, right? We'll get we'll get um, started. Okay, cool. I love the open sandwich idea as well. Right, so I've got a pot of water on here. Yes. So it's just come to the boil, and uh, secret ingredient: malt vinegar for poached eggs. Okay. Oh, malt. You know I always use white. But no, no, no. no. Oh, malt okay. That's so how did it turn wrong. out? Well, that all right? Well, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You get any vinegar will do, but then yeah. you, I think you get. You know, you can't have a poached oh, nice. egg without malt vinegar. Okay, you know, great. It's, it's got that flavour. Good tip. Right. So we're going to make a quick dressing, quick mm -hmm. vinaigrette. So olive oil. So yep. it's basically three parts of olive oil to one part vinegar. So that's just a white wine vinegar. I mean, you can change, change it to any vinegar you want. Easy. Just give it a taste, you know, you can balance it. A little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. And a little squeeze of lemon juice in there. And that's it, you know, that is, that is sort of a very, very simple vinaigrette. You okay, know? great. That's good. So there you go. So that's done. All right, I've got a couple of pans on here. Mm -hmm. I've got a nice um, slab of bread. So I've cut it nice and thick. Yes. I've got a little bit of oil and some salt on there, and then we're going to toast that. I'm going to start toasting that. Okay, so once you've done that side, when you turn it over and do the other side, do you, do you put oil and salt on the other side? Yeah, well? yeah, yeah, you can okay. do that. So you can do that, you can no. do that now, right. the pan. you know, just, right. just, just a little bit, you know, it helps. Right, so that's that. Mm -hmm. So this sandwich is all about, um, you know, there's lots of components going on, and yeah. um, it's about bringing everything together. Yeah. So I think this is, you know, it's probably, uh, maybe not the time, but this is probably what made me into a good chef, you know, because it's all about juggling everything and nice. bringing everything together and then making the perfect sandwich. Okay, great. So I used to trash the kitchen on Sunday mornings making this. <laughs> I think good. the parents used to hate that. <laughs> no, no, don't cook for us. Oh, really? No, I'd yeah, be like, maybe. yeah, I don't care what the mess is like, <laughs> just cook for me. <laughs> Wait, oh, so, that's great. I mean, we can do this, we're going to do this in the pan. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to toast the bread in there. I'm mm -hmm. also going to cook the bacon in here as well. You know, and that's going to help. Flavor to the yeah, bread. exactly. Yeah. It's going to flavour the bread yeah, as well. Cool. So that's getting cook, cooked in there. You can put it in the grill or do it in the oven if you want. Um, you know, it all depends what what you want to do. We've got another okay, pan great. on here. Yes. Bit of oil in there, and we're going to yep. start cooking the chicken. Okay, cool. So I've just got the chicken breast, trimmed it up, You've and I've sliced just, it in half. Yes, yeah, yeah. sliced it through the centre. So we've got some nice wide pieces, mm -hmm. but not too thick. A little bit of salt and pepper on. And then what we're going to do is going to pop them in a hot pan. Yep, bring the heat up there. And then we're just going to pan fry them in there. So nice bit of colour, flip it over, about two, three minutes on each side, and then just check where the chicken is. You know, it should be nice and firm. Um, if it's not firm, just cook it a little bit longer, and then that's ready to go. You know, we've got our bacon crisping up there. We've got our eggs uh, pan ready to go. You've got to have a boiling pan to make that. Yes. And then we can um, play around with the salad in a minute, and Brilliant. then uh, bring it all together yeah. and then build it. Okay, great. Well, everything is smelling fantastic <laughs> here, of course, cafe.co.nz if you want the recipe, but as you can see, it's all very simple. It's just about how you put it together, and we will see that. We'll see how to finish off this club sandwich straight after we catch up with Holly. We're back in the Beko kitchen to finish off Mark's famous club sandwich. Ask uh, so what's going on next, because everything's smelling good. You're right. yeah. Chicken's really ready, happy. bacon's crisp. Ted's toasted. Yeah. Right, we need to uh, cook our poached eggs. Okay, so I want you to show me, because I'm useless at poached eggs. Malt vinegar in there. So this is what I learned back in the UK. Get your eggs, carefully drop it in, about 10, 15 seconds. Okay, well, I've Just, never done that. Well, there you go. Just sets that white. Okay. Right, so then you can pop it back in there. Because mine crack, um, well, they don't crack. But. So just be careful, because they're going to be, they're still going to be hot. Bring it back up to like a boil, 
And this is what we need to do. Here's your secret. You're gonna really stir this around, you know, the spoon or a whisk or a, or a fork. And where's the optimum place to drop it in the world? In the center. In the center. Drop it in the center or around the side. It doesn't matter so much, but then you're... Um... Oh, you're doing two at a time, that's yeah, brave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine just end up with two so, yellow yolks and a whole lot of white stuff on the yes, top of the bowl. So you can see it sort of helps set it, but then that whole spinning motion, you know, sort of cups the white around the yolk. And obviously, if you get free range eggs, helps a lot more as well. Okay, and cool. fresh eggs. Okay, good. You know, this, this does well. But then, you've got to have your water hot so it comes back up to the boil so it's setting that white. And then okay. when it comes up like this, you can turn it down and then start poaching it. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. I've got the whisk thing, but I've never done the dunk them in for 10 seconds thing. So thanks just, for that. Just tip. try that. It does. It does make a difference. Oh, well. I'll right, so we've got a little bit, of, um, little bit of red onion here. So yep. I'm just going to dice that up. You can pass me that large bowl. This one here. Yep. All right, so that goes in there. Mm -hmm. Got some lettuce. Okay. Which we're just going to shred. Nice. Jeez, everything's smelling good. How long do you leave these eggs on for? Uh, probably about, uh, turn it right down. Okay, cool. Simmering, poaching eggs, not boiling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so probably about two minutes, two, two and a half minutes. You, okay. know, you still want a little bit of um, uh, runniness, runniness, in, yeah. runniness in there. All right, so we've got that, so you can put a little bit of um, salt in there. Yep. We'll pop a little bit of uh, dressing in there and just give that a stir around. Okay. Right, bread onto the plate, tomato, so like we sliced the other day, so just some thin slices, nice and even. You need to remember, you need to be um, seasoning every layer, you know? Don't every too, layer. Yeah, don't right. put too much on. So a little bit of um, little bit of salt and pepper on there, a little splash of vinaigrette as well, you know? Use mm -hmm. that as a seasoning. Not a lot, you don't want to drown it, but just a little bit will just lift that flavour up. Right, now you can put a little layer of um, lettuce on there, so nice and neat. Okay. So, so keep it on there. That's it, lovely. You'll make sure I've got a good ratio of onion and lettuce here. Just got this little bit of uh, brie cheese, so it's mm, just, a, just at room temperature, so I'm just going to do some nice thin slices. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit there, you know. Yum. Because <laughs> brie can be quite overpowering, can't it? So. Yeah, yeah. Right, bacon. So mm -mm -mm. I'm going to put the bacon on there. Then again, you know, so it's all about building layers and just make sure you've got sort of like a, you know, a semi-flat layer for all your next um, ingredients. Chicken, so that's all cooked. That goes on there. Pop the brie on top. Look at that, and then just that heat from the chicken, it's just going to sort of melt that. Right, oh, what else yeah. have we got? We've got a little bit of parsley, which we're yes. going to chop up, and then we're just going to put that through the rest of our vinaigrette, and that's going to go on top. So you can check the eggs. Okay. So just carefully lift it out, give it a little prod. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's holding its shape and it's got a little spring in it, but it's still nice and uh, yolky, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's good, that's perfect. Right, so I want to flick it over though so that you get the moisture out of it. It's all right. Whatever you do, just do it gently. Just do it gently, he says. <laughs> Because I don't want the, I don't want all that water. The God, not, not with a fork. <laughs> Mark's freaking out. Right, there we go. Poached egg goes on top. Look at that. And then a little bit more vinaigrette with the parsley on top and oh. drizzle that over. Look at that. That was great. Guys, it's a lot easier doing it now than uh, that know, is 20 years superb. ago. <laughs> And everyone in the studio and everyone in the control room, when you did that final touch with the parsley, just went, oh, and that is going to be delicious. Well done. It's good, isn't I it? can see why that led you to chefing, and I can't <laughs> wait to test it. Okay, we'll do that a little later on in the show. But this is the best yet, you think, Mark? Oh, this is the best one. Look at that. I'm so excited I've built two so everyone gets to try it. Oh, nice. Look good at work. Based on the amount of staff and Hooray. crew that work hard around here, <laughs> probably need a few more, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs>